Hello! Today we are reviewing a Funko Pop of the Chupacabra from Harry Potter's, well actually I should say Grindelwald's movie series, now The Crimes of Grindelwald. And if you guys are new, do subscribe, check out our spooky playlists. I'm Morticia, this is our roommate Slappy, hanging out with his witchy spider, his Aragog's child here. And Gomez, my darling husband, is manning the camera. Now, if he were a goblin and I was married to Griphook, I could say he were goblining the camera. <laughs> would that be, like, racist? Would you be okay with that if you were Griphook? No, it would be like a compliment. Okay, good. You're way taller than Griphook, so you'd have to pretend really hard. I could be the tallest... The goblin ever. <laughs> yes. Griphook's extremely tall nephew. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Who's from Russia? <laughs> Gomez is from Russia. So, we will link our Harry Potter playlist below. I have my magic wand. Look at my big, heavy magic wand. Wow. And I have the Chupacabra. Let's, before we unbox him and review him, let's check out, via Gomez, the other offerings in the series. Here we have uh, Newt Scamander from both of the Fantastic Beasts movies. Newt with a big square head. Albus Dumbledore, played by Jude Law in The Fantastic Beast 2. Albus, aka Jude Law, with a big square head. Glad Grindelwald from both movies. Who looks like, not at all like he did in the books, with a big square head. A Sestral that you probably would not recognize because it looks more like a cat in this variation, but... <laughs> Should be a skeletal horse, but it looks really different with a big square head. And then, at the center is our main star, the great Chup himself. The Chup, like Chup Man, <laughs> who Grindelwald has taught us is too needy. So if you're not really into needy animals, you don't want a pet Chupacabra. And for those of you who like trivia, his name is Antonio in the movie, his specific name. That's kind of boring. Maybe he didn't like his name, so that made him, like, he broke and became too needy. Mm. <laughs> Newt's favorite bow truckle among the many he has, this one is named Pickett. Who we also reviewed a cool bendable of that's not a Funko, so again, check out the playlist if you missed it. Metagod, who were guiding the gentle... Creep. French ministry, right? Yes. Yeah. I would love a regular figure of him, or like a cool plush. They are supposed to be cat familiars, and they look much bigger than cats, but when the spirit leaves them, they look like regular kittens again. Ah, so I want one of those. Yes. And of course, we'll name our Scorcher after our black cat Scorcher. Yes. And then gentle Niffler. Niffler. That we have the keychain pocket pop up that, again, we also reviewed. That's becoming redundant. Let's go. Here is General Antonio that we should probably change his name to something cooler so that he becomes less needy. Because we're not really into needy either, are we, darling? No. I'm redoing the movie in my head and pretending Grindelwald had a German accent like he should and that he wasn't Johnny Depp like right now in my head. And then when he says that he's too needy and throws him, it looks a lot better. Grindelwald also has long blonde hair like he did in the book. And in the, um, wasn't it the Half-Blood Prince or something? Or, no, it wasn't. It was freaking, um... Deathly Hollows. Deathly Hollows, yeah. That was a good actor. They should have kept that. Yes. Alas. I could also see the guy, the young Anakin from Star Wars, voicing him because he was, like, handsome with long, uh, flowing white hair. Blue Why hair. am I the Sierra Anakin <laughs> guy? I'm trying to figure out how he's going to sit when I actually put him down, I guess, like that. Yeah, I just had him looking at me because I was trying to figure it out. Okay, now so actually, this is unique for a pop. Um, he's not overly square, which I like because um, I said that in our reviews of the Funko and Baby Funko of Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors. So he doesn't look square, which I like, and he does have like a big head with big eyes, but I mean, you know, have we ever really seen a Chupacabra? Do we know what they look like? But a lot of the Funkos have a tiny body. Like this big head and a tiny, tiny body. And I love the fact that this guy's body is well developed. Like, it's not tiny. It's amazing. And I was looking for just a Chupacabra action figure that wasn't Funko at one point. Because I'm not as much into the square and stylized. But I couldn't find one. And But this one, actually, I just looked at it out of desperation. And I was impressed. And I sent it to Gomez and said, what do you think, dear? Because we talk about things before we buy them sometimes. And he was impressed. So... We yes. got him. But look. Such beautiful eyes. Look at that belly with all the scaling. Like, they did amazing work on this. Yes. I took two seconds showing him in the box. But, you know, you can take him out. You can put him back if you're a collector who keeps him in the box. We don't, so the box is now dead to us. 
because you, you know we want to enjoy the figure and all his glory check out the back and the spines and now if you're into mythology chupacabra is not a figure of harry potter he is a general figure of american and mexican folklore and chupacabra means goat sucker which is a really weird sounding name but i guess something was feeding on the goats when this first came about in i want to say the 1950s something like that that the first sightings were made or something similar i'll put a link below um, for those who like to read about that stuff. Was that right, Gomez? Was it around then? Yes. Okay. I'm like, I read so much, I get it all blended together in my head. Look at his beautiful back and that spiky tail. He's not posable. He does not pose, but he's just so beautiful. He doesn't need to. I love lizards, and so I like him just on principle. Um, I have seen Chupacabra jewelry online, but for insane prices, if you don't want just the picture. Look, his feet are even detailed on the bottom here. Yes. But Chupacabra means goat sucker, so maybe this is like a vampire who only feeds on goats. I mean, he's like a lizard creature, obviously. You got all those cool spiky scales and stuff. And I love lizards and salamanders and whatnot, so that's cool. But, like, maybe he just likes goat blood, so I guess we're all safe. Unless you're a goat watching this, and I'm not trying to discriminate, you might not be safe. <laughs> What is it Gomez says about us in his little tag on Quora and other places? We're legally blind, criminally strange, and sometimes funny. <laughs> That's us. But he's very sturdy. He's solid. He was like $12 free shipping on eBay. I think it was from Canada. Is that right? Yes. It was, yeah. And he came in a nice big box, well packaged. We got him quickly considering he's from Canada. He's our new favorite toy. Oh, wait. He's got more legs than I thought. I thought five legs. This one was accidentally given a fifth leg. Or Antonio's sixth leg came off when Grindelwald got tired and threw him away. Hmm. Happens to the best of chups. <laughs> you chup. <laughs> so I do know how to count. It's just that one, two, three, these are spread out and these are like really close together. So it's almost like one, two, but it's actually one, two, three. It's just like here, his legs are like totally cramped together. Here on this side, he's like stretched out, chilling out. He can't decide what he wants to do. There are actually six. <laughs> the Choop Man. So we will keep the Choop Man until he becomes too needy. Then he might lose another leg when we throw him away. 